Hey guys, welcome to let's say first video of this channel. Today uh, we are playing Rainbow Six Siege, and it's a like a tactical first-person shooter. Uh, if you don't know it, uh, I'm gonna give you a basics on how to play, let's say, and how to let's say counter or roam in this opinion or topic. Uh, example: Here we have. Uh, each side has 5 attackers and 5 defenders. Here we have a classic build by Bandit, Rook, Echo, Mira and Vigil. Uh, Echo is a great defender. Uh, you can great, get, get great callouts and easily kill somebody if you zap him. Uh, Vigil, uh, I'm currently playing as Vigil. Uh, he's a roamer and he has a drone jammer or a deceiver. And we have Bandit, he's gonna... he and Mira are going to do the bend trick so they cannot breach that's uh, one of the must-haves in chalet or a garage area uh, here I have some technical problems I think I'll tap there or something uh, and yeah and we have Rook at least we get armor you know here I'm trying to spawn pick I'm low on time I you know I was kind of late and they're kind of focusing their fire on me now they're not focusing on, on the objective, they're trying to, you know, uh, flush me out and kill me. I may, I destroyed Hatch, so I have an angle on them. And Zofia uh, will come from downstairs, she'll destroy the door. And I get three few hits, and I quick, I quick think, and I drop the stairs, and I get a flank. And here I decide to run out uh, to get some uh, to try to kill a termite or thatcher so they cannot breach. I'm gonna help my team. And as I run out, I didn't take any fall damage. I killed one, I killed another, and I ran into bullets. But I got two kills. You know, I eliminated the most. Uh, important some of them operators as you can see i killed maverick and i killed maverick and i don't know the other ones uh, twitch i think i'm not sure and termite is still alive that's one problem he can breach but bandit did a good job of bandit tricking and they cannot breach now so they are safe from that side now I did most of the job for my team, for them to win. I eliminated three most of the important operators for flanking. And Maverick is great for flanking, he can make holes. And I killed Maverick, Zofia, I think, and Twitch, I'm not sure the last one. Don't hold me for my birds. And I removed the most important operators for flanking and rushing. and. My team tried to defend, by, but at the end, uh, they, let's say, uh, threw off the match. They kind of fucked up. But it's okay, it happens. Oh, we have a bandit, and bandit is uh, in a tricky situation. His hatch is broken, they can come from upstairs and from the wine cellar. And that's kind of fucked up. Uh, you can't do much in this situation. and they rush him, he got an injury, and Termite just came from the stairs, it's an easy pick, easy kill, I mean, it's a bait, let's say. And here, now we attack, now we try to play, let's say, not serious, but Let's try to win this. Uh, I'm not sure if they go garage, uh, the buck is pointless, let's say. But if they go kitchen or cafeteria, how you call it, uh, buck is excellent because I can bridge from upstairs. I can see some points. I can get few free kills. I'm deciding should I play buck with uh, his uh, marksman rifle or 
DMR, how you want to call it, or his assault, AR or assault rifle. Uh, AR is pretty tricky, it has high recoil, even with compensator and vertical. I mean, it's a tricky rifle, but it's a good rifle. Here, I try to drone. Uh, my teammates tell me they are in the kitchen area. Then I decided to go upstairs so I can see for roamers to wa uh, who are watching the hatches and everything. And here we can see Valkyra is roaming. I'm, I mean, I'm not safe, but I know somebody's upstairs. Uh, then I decided to approach uh, from another point, from the back side of the map. Here I decided to check the most common spawn picking locations in this area. I decided to go on this balcony because it's you pass this door and you can see upstairs and as you can see this door is destroyed. I decide for safe measures to, to drone, you know, not to get myself killed. I, I check left and the common place is here in the bathroom. As you can see it's a stupid place to camp in. She was camping in the bathroom, uh, I can chuck a grenade. Uh, I decide to make a move. I went a little bit further and I'm getting constantly spotted. That's the problem. She knows exact location of me. I tried to throw one grenade, I kind of mess up and another mess up. Then I said, damn, I got to move quickly. And here I try to, uh, I try to destroy with my shotgun a little or check out any angles before I make any noise. Uh, I pretty much don't see anybody, it's not anything special, uh, because most of the people don't camp in kitchen. Then I try to rotate, so we... Uh, can corner the enemy uh, and I i mean it's pointless I rotated but my teammate got there first and took the kill I mean it's an easy job uh, we are again going with garage and I told my team I'm going to reinforce main garage main door or how you call it, and I'm going to set up a spawn picking again upstairs. I rushed upstairs, and I try to improvise. I smash every window, upstairs and downstairs, so I can trick them. If they am upstairs, I get a free hit if they don't see me. Here I smashed the window and I thought to myself, maybe I should smash the door, maybe, you know, if they come. I went to smash the door and I was kind of late. I got maybe two hits on the guy or one, not sure. And the problem is I dragged their attention and they now try to focus on me. Uh, Shielder is on the right and the guy on the left is trying to focus on me. I destroyed the hatch again for flanking purposes. Uh, here I tried to get an angle on the shielder. I thought he was going to rush me. And I went upstairs to, you know, take a safe distance. I mean, it's blitz we're talking about. Uh, I tried to camp, uh, but I wasn't too sure what to do. I was thinking about running out maybe, uh, uh, like last time. Uh, the point is being pa patient siege if you're patient enough uh, you will do anything if you rush and you're gonna just mess up things then I said my, myself then I, I'm gonna try to run out maybe outside again and I jumped out I spotted three enemies killed two of them and the third my, the third one I didn't have enough ammo I have 4 HP, I'm pretty much messed up. Uh, 
Blitz is nearby. I hear him rushing. I think to myself, I must hide. I hide in the corner. It's just a pure bait. And I get too cocky. I try to run out again. And I mean, I didn't get anything. And here I decide to go to the main hall. And I was pretty much blind and stressed out of that all stuff that happened. And you can see he was vaulted, but I didn't spot him. I just didn't see him and he killed me and my teammate luckily was nearby and he got a free kill. Here we spawned on the far side, far left side of the map. Here I'm, I'm gonna drone, I decided because I mean that's the most important thing in the game if you wanna survive here i drone and i spot frost uh, she's putting her frost mats i rush in check the hatch hatch is not broken that's important so nobody's upstairs and i check again i don't see frost but now listen to this You can clearly, clearly hear somebody's on the right side. That's the best thing about turning the volume up in this game. I knew she was there, I switched my shotgun. Free kill. Here I kind of white peek and I, I look at the container and it said it was securing. I thought I knocked the guy and I kind of got greedy. I tried tried to cook the grenade in the meaning I could kill I could have killed my teammate Twitch if I cooked the long enough grenade you know the container kind of freaked me uh, this this round wasn't very long we won the round now we're defending the kitchen area the most important thing if you have rook uh, rook needs to place armor instantly so you can continue with your roaming, reinforcing as fast as possible. But you need to pick up your armor. That's the important thing. If you're Cavera, she has one armor and free speed. It's gonna help if you have two armor. Here I kind of don't have time and I thought I'm going to reinforce behind me if they rush. I reinforce the walls and I was thinking about spawn picking the windows. I wasn't sure enough but i'm gonna roll the audio clip now so you can hear the sound you can now see how important is the sound from sound i heard they're going upstairs and I heard they have a shielder. That's when I decide I'm gonna go upstairs, try to get a few heals. Here, uh, my teammate told me he was fighting. I just decided to punch the wall so I can get a better angle. You see, Sledge was rushing. I got free kill on Sledge. I mean, it's pretty simple. I decided to come in and help him. Shielder is dead and I kind of got greedy. I white picked here. I mean, for no reason, but it's a free kill, I just died. I mean, you should never white pick, you're Cavera. You need to flank, be sneaky, not pick obvious angles. Here, the rest of the team, they're pretty good. They, I mean, finish the round, it gets to 1v1 and Rook clashes. The important thing about Siege is being sneaky, smart. You need to outplay your enemies. But because if they expect what, sh what you're going to do, then you're just going to die. You need to be in most unusual spots. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. <laughs> Thanks for watching and see you next time.